Uh, the next step in testing hydraulic pressure for your tractor, in this case it's a Mahindra 1640 uh, with a remote front kit. Basically, any port that has hydraulic pressure and has a male, um, has a male end, you could uh, plug into and test the pressure. First, you want to relieve any uh, pressure on the system, so the bucket's down. I got to put my rear uh, rotor tiller down there. Uh, warm your tractor up and uh, make sure the fluid is uh, nice and hot. And then uh, pick a port where uh, you can uh, watch it while the tractor is running and uh, we'll go from there. So I chose the um, port that is on my uh, third function, basically right there. So we're going to start the engine. Um, we're going to bring it up to uh, full RPM. And then we're gonna look at the gauge and I'll use my camera actually to figure out uh, how high it got, so. Looks like it was pretty close to the uh, <clears throat> 150 bar, so I'm gonna have to take a look down there and see how much pressure that is. Yeah, so it was at about uh, 150 bar, which is about 2100, 2200 psi, which is which is uh, pretty good. Um, I think these cylinder cylinders can withstand about 2400 psi. So I was going to uh, maybe adjust it, but uh, it's actually uh, it's actually good right from the factory. So, uh, but that is a quick way to test uh, your hydraulic uh, pressure and to make sure um, it's it's within spec. Um, if you ever did want to adjust uh, hydraulic pressure, you have to go uh, to the spool here, and uh, the adjuster is here. Basically, you take the cap off, uh, and you could either shim it or there's a screw adjustment in it. Um, it's pretty easy to do so um, But uh, you have to really watch if you're going to do that uh, if you exceed the uh, Rated pressure of your system you could break things so And void your warrant void, uh, void your warranty, so I wouldn't recommend it. I still have my warranty on this tractor. So everything is uh, staying OEM